This is Bumper to Bumper TV. If you think of the Chicago Auto Show as primarily a blue-collar event, then get ready to have your world turned upside down. The Kia brand used the event to show off a restyled and technically updated version of the hot-selling Optima Hybrid. This features more creature comforts for the mid-size segment. And while they had the spotlight, the company took the wraps off the Nero concept crossover. While it's a bit radical, don't be surprised if you see something similar in the next generation Sportage. And rounding up their presentation is the Soul EV, a plug-in electric that will be on sale on the North American market starting on both coasts and working inland. This is a pure electric that has a range of 90 to 100 miles and will offer three charging stations and an app-based function to help drivers find public charging facilities. Chevrolet's Silverado HD can now go both ways. A bi-fuel version that can switch between diesel or compressed natural gas made its debut. This continues General Motors' push to be all things to the truck market. The Bowtie brand also announced the development of a smaller panel truck, the Chevy City Express van. It's suspiciously familiar to the Nissan work truck platform, which is being used for multiple purposes. This is a segment where Ford held the lead for a while with the Transit Connect. As for Nissan, the Tennessee-based company thinks the Frontier is due to have a workable diesel version. A concept with a 2.8-liter Cummins power plant is currently being referred to as a concept that looks very close to reality. On the passenger side, the Versa gets another trim level with the SR version. This has upgraded interior, fancy lights, and wheels. The segment has been good to the company, so why not squeeze a little more from this platform? Swedish automaker Volvo is thinking about the Walter Mitty drivers of the world who by day want a functional, dependable vehicle, but in their fantasy, really lust for a race car. So here's our answer uh, to the question of what makes a great car. We believe it's a car that delivers true performance, precision and driver confidence in all weather, on all roads and in all seasons. Look for a supercharged versions of the S60 and V60 wagon in the 2015 model year offerings. Subaru is trying to make a bigger impression on the North American market, and why not do it with the flagship legacy sedan? The new sedan offers more interior space to compete with other luxury mid-size sedans. This has been one of the brand's shortcomings in terms of appeal. Additionally, there's a renewed emphasis on safety with an available platform named iSight that integrates adaptive cruise control, blind spot warning systems, and braking assist to avoid collisions. Hyundai did a twofer at the Chicago show with the reflex version of the Veloster. There's a lot of eye candy in this platform, which will only be available in its limited edition model, while retaining the basic drivetrain of a 1.6-liter engine and six-speed dual-clutch transmission. The Genesis sedan also got some love with the redesign and some upgrades taking center stage. Like other manufacturers, Hyundai is embracing apps as a way to keep up and take things a step further and is now offering a remote start capability activated by Google Glasses. Toyota is maximizing its investment in their current truck platform with the introduction of the Pro TRD series. This is a specially designed suspension and off-road feature package available on the Tundra, the Tacoma and the 4Runner. Just what you need for the Baja race or just to head to the mountains. The Honda Civic SI is a favorite among street and drift racers. So to connect with this audience and the Forza gamers as well, Honda asked the fans to design the Honda Civic SI for the next generation of the Xbox game. The winner, Tiffany Labadz of Phoenix, proved that it isn't just a boys club anymore. Volkswagen is also ramping up its game in the global rallycross segment with this specially modified Beetle. Under the hood is a 560 horsepower engine and an all-wheel drive transaxle. VW has partnered with Andretti Motorsports on this platform, so it'll look for a major departure from the love bug image of the past. Herbie would be proud of his legacy. This is Greg Morris. We want to know what you think, so email us. The address is bumper to bumper TV at cs.com.